Hi, Casper here from Bose Wine on the 14th of September 2015. Um, tasting um, with you uh, another old claret actually, 60, 1962 Chalot Canon Saint-Emilion. Um, I opened this one tonight because it was it was much lower fill than the rest. I, I, I bought 10 bottles altogether in an auction. Um, one was broken in transit. Uh, this one uh, was sort of mid shoulder, um, and that wasn't actually in the lot description. So um, a bit naughty of Bonhams. Uh, but uh, anyway, because it was low fill, and in fact there's there's rusting around the around the um, capsule. It's clear this has been leaking over a period of many years. Um, uh, because it was low fill, I thought drink it ASAP really so it's, it's had four or five days to um, relax after being delivered um, and I pulled the cork anyway and decanted it um, now 62 um, obviously uh, and quite rightly entirely overshadowed by its its immediate antecedent 61 being one of the great vintages of the last century um, uh, but much overlooked and um, Un unfairly because uh, you know a lot of very nice wines were produced and one of the great things about 62 was that it produced in Bordeaux wines of very high acidity and that means many of them are still drinking um, well today and many of them, I mean one of the great identifiers for 62 Claret is the colour which is I, I, you can't, won't be able to pick this up very well, but if you hold this up to the light, it's still ruby red, and and this is you know the acidity um, fixing the colour effectively in in the wine. So bright ruby red. Um, I wasn't expecting a whole lot from this, you know, being being low fill. That lovely smell of sort of autumn bonfire that's gone out. Um, uh, also, the smell you get when you open a tin of Lapsang Sushong um, loose leaf tea. Spice and smoke and e embers and, and um, just fascinating nose. Um, perhaps a, a bit of licorice, is there licorice in there? Perhaps a little bit. But it's dark. There is a there is a lick of it's almost burnt sugar, sort of slight aroma to it. This has been open. I decanted this um, 20, 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, nice nose. Mm. And that's. <clears throat> Quickly, quickly fresh, um, fine swathe of, of, of fresh, nippy, slightly pecan tannin that's, that's um, supportive. I mean, it's very present, obviously, fully integrated. Um, there's, fr there's fruit here still, you know, it's, it's a cold tea kind of fruit aroma, and, and um, obviously, this. That's, it's just sort of opening up all the time, sort of wet undergrowth, slight nori, seaweed, um, aroma, hint of salinity, which I, is, you know, that part of that nori, nori being that sea, green seaweed that um, sushi is wrapped in. There's something very savoury about it, dry. Spice and then sort of wet, wet undergrowth slightly. It's it's got a slight element of melt. Mm. You know, it's got concentration. It's got real zippy freshness. I mean, it's almost citrus freshness from quite near the front, but it's got density. It's got. You know, pretty decent length, and um, and I anticipate this will be the worst of the bottles that, that in the lot. But um, you know, pretty outstanding, and always fascinating. To, you know, to drink claret old and oneself is is, is always um, 
fascinating, but um, you know, looking forward to drinking another glass of this and drinking the other bottles in the fullness of time. Perhaps I'll um, tell you what they are like as they come up, but uh, in the meantime, good drinking. <laughs>